Hey everyone, welcome to Connect. Your Connect small group is gonna get together in five minutes. Your Connect small group will get together in four minutes. Say hi to your small group leader. Your Connect small group gets together in three minutes. Start cleaning up your games. You've only got two minutes left. It's almost time, just one minute left.
We're gonna dance. We're gonna sing. We're gonna get real loud. Let our voices ring. We're gonna party. We're having fun with Jesus Christ. He's God's only son. Now everybody, from the front to the back, put your hands in the air and clap, clap, clap. Seeing old friends, making new friends. Here with Jesus, we're connected. My name's Alyssa. And I'm Tony. And I'm Mike. Welcome to Connect. It's great to see you. But before we get started, there's a few rules we have to go over. The rules make sure everyone stays safe and has a great time. First up is rule number one. Listen to your small group leader. Respect them and obey what they tell you to do. The grown-ups are here to help you and keep you safe. Next up, it's rule number two. Be a good friend. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And don't just stop there. Treat others the way Jesus treated other people. Use kind words and show love and respect to everyone. And be on the lookout for people that may be joining us for the first time. Be a good friend to them too. Now that's two rules down. That means it's time for rule number three. And it's my favorite rule, have fun. Having fun really is the best part. Now that we've gone through the three rules, it's time for the silent arm wave. I'll start, Tony, you finish. Ready? Ready. Ready. Giving is a lot like planting a sunflower seed. Huh? What do you mean? Think about it. You could eat a sunflower seed if you wanted, right? But then you wouldn't have any sunflower seeds left. Oh yeah, that's no fun. But if you plant a sunflower seed, it will grow into a sunflower that makes a lot of seeds. Okay, that makes sense. But what does that have to do with giving? Say you have some money and you decide to spend it all on candy. Ooh, I like candy. That sounds great. Sure it does. But once you eat the candy, that's it. No more money, no more candy. Oh, yeah. But if you could give some of your money to your church and back to God, it can be sent exactly where it needs to go to make a big difference. Really? That's so cool. Yeah, your money can keep on giving by meeting the needs of the church and people all over the world to show God's love. Don't forget, when you give your money to God, you can watch it go and grow. When it's showtime, it's okay to just sit back and watch. But when it's worship time, everybody gets up to sing. The songs that connect are an excellent way to let God know that He comes first in our life. Nothing can stop us from showing him that he deserves our best singing and our endless energy. So get up on your feet and let's connect to God together.
even sure what some of this stuff is. How are we supposed to sell it in a garage sale if we don't even know what it is? I think at some point this was supposed to be a frog. Uh, I think it's too lumpy to be a frog. I think toad is a better word. I don't think it deserves either of those. If anything, it's a rock. A rock? A really ugly rock. Is it even possible for a rock to be ugly? It is for that one. <laughs> Our Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Alyssa, and this is how we solve the problem of the Lucy wig. Hey look, a construction hat. <laughs> <gasps> yes. I think this is a pin, or a flashlight, or I don't know. Alyssa, what do you, hmm. Alyssa, what happened to your hair? Hey, nice <laughs> wig. It almost makes you look like a different person. Uh, what are you talking about? I am a different person. <laughs> okay, mystery lady, who are you? Uh, I'm Lucy, and I'm from Wales. <laughs> and, um, um, oh, and I'm a photographer. <laughs> Wales, huh? Mm hmm I would have guessed England. That's right, that's right. I'm from England. I photograph Wales. <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's really difficult because they're quite big and lumpy. And <laughs> 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 but I found out if you um, do the wobbly method when you're taking their picture, it's much better. And you go like, like that. <laughs> yeah, and then you can it. it makes more sense on a boat. <laughs> okay, well that's enough of that. Harper, we still have a lot of extra training to do. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I actually have the next hour clear on my schedule, so I could come with you guys. Or not. That's good too. Man, it's almost like they like hanging out with Lucy better than me. Everyone likes Lucy. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm Ava. Is this where I'm supposed to be if I have a problem? That's right. I'm Lucy. Everyone likes me because I'm perky and interesting. Um, Connect HQ is here to help you, so just state your problem into my watch and we'll get started. Sure thing. I like your hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. People normally don't comment on it. I always get picked last when we play basketball at my school. It makes me feel left out. So I need to learn some really great basketball skills so I can become a better player. So they'll like me and pick me first. So you need some top banana sports ball skills, eh? Well, I can help you. Before I was a whale photographer, I took photos of all the famous NBA players. Michael Jackson, uh, Cody Bryant, Squeal O'Neal, you name it. Um, I think you mean Kobe and Jordan. Those guys taught me a thing or two. I can help you. Is this the one? Yeah, that's her. I was going through some recruit applications earlier today, and I think she would be great for the open field officer job. Okay, sounds good to me. But there are a few things that I see on her profile that concern me. Is it okay if she isn't perfect? Of course. I mean, we wouldn't even be here if we were only looking for perfect people. It's okay to meet people right where they are. That's what Jesus did. Really? Here, let me show you. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. Is alive. Matthew. Today, our top story. Jesus continues to shock the world with his every action, and you'll never believe who he's chosen to be his newest disciple. All that and more coming up next on Bible News Then.
Good morning and welcome to Bible News Then. I'm Faith Harold. Breaking news today out of Capernaum as Jesus called yet another disciple. If you're following this story, you'll remember that Jesus, the Son of God, has been traveling from town to town choosing people to follow him. Here's the scene from his latest choice, which has proven to be very unpopular. And with the seventh overall pick in the disciple draft, Jesus Christ selects Matthew the tax collector. <laughs> Yeah. We're joined now by the man at the center of the drama, Matthew. Thank you for having me. We don't like tax collectors. I know. Jesus choosing you is a shock to everyone, but why are the people so upset? Um, I'm a tax collector, and like most tax collectors, I, I took more money from people than I was supposed to. I kept the extra for myself. <laughs> people do not like that. You took more than you were supposed to! Yeah, I just told her that. Thank you! Why would Jesus call someone like you to be his disciple? I've been wondering the same thing. I, I never thought anybody would ever choose me. But then Jesus said, those who are healthy do not need doctors. Sick people do. I've not come to get those who think they are right with God to follow me. I've come to get sinners to follow me. And how do you respond to that? Jesus knew I was a sinner, but he didn't count me out. He showed me kindness and offered me a better way to live. I invited Jesus to dinner at my house so that he could meet my tax collector friends. I know he's gonna show them the same kindness that he showed me, and I'm not gonna steal anymore. I'm going to travel with Jesus to spread the message of God's love to others. Wow. So, there you have it. Looks like Jesus doesn't choose people to follow him because of how good they are on the outside. Instead, he shows kindness to everyone and chooses followers who are ready to trust him and leave their old sinful ways behind. We'll continue to follow this and other stories about Jesus as they unfold. For continued coverage of this story, check it out in the Bible. It's in the book of Matthew, chapter 9. Coming up next time, we'll check back in with our senior analyst on plagues and diseases as he tackles that big question, what's up with this whole leprosy thing? All that and more on Bible News Then. See, nobody's perfect. But lucky for us, Jesus wasn't looking for perfect people. If someone was rejected because they weren't perfect, Jesus still picked them. I think I get it. Okay, so here's an advanced technique for you. Dribbling the ball with the back of your hand actually gives you more control. Mm -hmm. uh, the curvature of your fingers uh. Um, I'm not so sure about this. I just want to get chosen. No, trust me. We just need to think of something else. Wait right here. I'll be right back. Look at this. She helped another kid not feel left out by sitting next to her at lunch. Even though they weren't friends, that is another great quality to have in a field officer. <laughs> Sounds like you're excited. Well, I remember when I was chosen to work at Connect HQ. I felt so lucky, but I also felt like God blessed me and chose me. And every day since then, I've remembered, I am chosen because God chose me. I just want somebody else to know what that feels like. That's a great point. I am chosen because God chose me. Harper, it sounds like you've got this all under control. I'm gonna go price some of the things for our garage sale, okay? Got it. See, if we attach this bungee to the ball, then it actually does all of the work for us. Yeah, but that's cheating. Hey, Lissa, what's going on in here? Whoa, 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 Captain. May I please have a word with you in private, please? Uh, Alyssa, who's uh, a... Excuse us, dear. Um, Ray, I told our walk-in that I was Lucy, and so if I stop being Lucy now, it's gonna be really weird and awkward. Well, why'd you tell her you were Lucy in the first place? I don't know. Just go with it, please. Okay. All right, where were we? You were showing me how to droople the ball. <laughs> Drupal? Alyssa... I mean, Lucy, <laughs> you know nothing about basketball. Of course I do. All right, Ava, this is a master level technique. All right, this is called the Dunkin' Donut. All right, so you go around and then you the other way and then it's like back. Whoa! Wait, what happened? Lucy, are you okay? I'm okay. No, 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 don't look at me. I need this wig.
<laughs> Alyssa, or Lucy, or whomever, this is ridiculous. You don't understand. I need the wig. I need to be Lucy. People like Lucy more than they like Alyssa. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Alyssa? Now, can you tell me what happened out there? Okay, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but you've been spending a lot more time with Harper lately, and it seems silly now, but I just felt like I wasn't interesting anymore, and I thought, I pretended to be a different person that was funnier and more interesting that people would like me more. Alyssa, the only reason I'm spending more time with Harper is because I'm training her to be a leader. You're already a great leader and we all like you a lot. You don't need to pretend to be someone else. There's a verse that I want you to say with me. It comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter one, verse four. Let's say it like this. Ephesians one, four. Ephesians one, four. Even before he made the world, even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ. God loved us and chose us in Christ. To be holy and without fault in his eyes. To be holy and without fault in his eyes. <laughs> God made you and chose you even before he made the world. Not Lucy. And I like being friends with Alyssa. I don't know Lucy. I like being friends with you too. Good. Hi, I'm Harper. Are you a walk-in? Yeah, my name's Ava. Wait, Ava? Yeah. And you sat next to that lonely kid at lunch. What? How did you... And you helped mow your neighbor's lawn. Yes. We've been looking for you. We've heard a lot about you, and we think that you would be a great field office agent for Connect HQ. Really? You want to pick me? Nobody ever picks me. Well, we choose you. Hey, everyone. Hey, uh, lady? <laughs> My name's Alyssa. I'm still Ava. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about basketball, but I did make this transmission for you that I think might help. Hi, Ava. It's me, Alyssa. I found an answer for your problem. The Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians 1, 4. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God didn't make any mistakes whenever he made us. And he certainly didn't wait a few years after you were born to <laughs> see if you turned out okay. He chose us to be forgiven and loved no matter what we do. Jesus didn't pick Matthew to be his disciple because he was perfect and everybody liked him. In fact, Matthew was just the opposite of those things. But Jesus chose him anyway because he knew that Matthew was willing to follow him. Sometimes we may think that we have to be different or have better skills in order to get people to like us. But it doesn't matter what other people think about you. It only matters what God thinks about you. And he made you just the way you are. And he loves you. You don't have to feel rejected or left out. No matter where you come from or what you've done, God can use you. I'm chosen because God chose me. Thanks for your question. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Thanks, you guys. Happy to help. Oh, Ray, this is Ava, the girl I was telling you about earlier. Wow, <laughs> so you're Ava. I've heard so much about you. I'd love to talk to you about the open field officer position. Okay. Let's talk. So, what happened to that wig? Oh, I put that back in the garage sale box so it doesn't fall in the wrong hands again. Good idea. Yeah. My name is Reginald. I like to travel the world in hot air balloons. You're not rejected or left out. 
God chose to include you in his great plan for the world through what Jesus did on the cross. But have you ever decided to make Jesus the leader of your life? If not, all you have to do is remember the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you wanna make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave.